निकाल दें हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट दी वट इज ई ए वी मजन टू ई ए वी मॉडल वाई देर इज अज ऑफ इट वट आर द बेनिफिट दैट वी आर यूजिंग सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक वट एग्जैक्टली इट इज सो मजन ई ए वी फुल फॉर्म इज एंटिटी एट्रीब्यूट एंड वैल्यू ओके सो दिस थिंग दे आर दे आर यूजिंग राइट so whatever we have like uh, if you want to in the customer table i want i want to create a new th new field i i want to add so i, I don't want to create like uh, go in the customer entity table and add a new column over here so that will disrupts the structure of magento right so for for that way magento has introduced his av attribute a mo value model so where we have to create attribute and store its attribute id entity and the value entity means that the uh, which you want to set the attribute wall it's basically the object right so uh, uh so this is basically uh, that we have to create like suppose i want to add a telephone number which is not in the customer uh, customer entity right so i want to add it so it will be created as a attribute entity attribute value so where we can use this later on with the help of the get attribute code with the value or something right um so this is the first criteria so let's take an example like uh, why there is a need suppose uh, you are selling the clothes next time you want to sell the bags and the shoes also bags and shoes are different because they have a strap they have a zipper bag and various things they have and the shoes have the like different color they have uh, like you can see the bottom shoes their laces and all you want to sell they have the different attributes but the product table is one right so how we are going to manage it then we have to create the attribute sets so they have the functionality that they we can create the different different attribute set then we can link it link to it and then we are also processing the at entity attribute value where different different attributes are stored in the tables and we can fetch it and show it right that is the use right so benefits that easily create new attributes and manage the adjustment there is no need to modify the current structure table structure but the things you, you need to add a new data to the available tables support managing storing attributes data on the multi languages also have higher customization than the flat data structure right so structure of magento eav tables and the data is depends on the this one the customer is also their customer address is their catalog catalog is catalog category catalog order invoice so all these have the different different attributes uh, eav model so where we have to send their specific attributes there right so let's have a look of the eav attribute right so what exactly it is i will write eav so eav they have a catalog eav attribute right so these have the what are the attribute ids if i click on this attribute id so it's basically attribute code is name okay and moving to the next uh, let's add let's check the last one <coughs> so if i click on this this is the test attribute right so i have created the test attribute where i have created i will show you <coughs> so i guess i have created this one test attribute right you can see that test attribute is created if i go to this one like stores we have uh, attribute product then we have a, i will search just only test see i have uh, i have the product i have a requirement right i want to add a test for anything that that i can add so i will create the attributes that is stored in the table right so you can see that here the uh, here this one the test where is test attribute i am this one you can see that the data is stored stored in the eav attribute right so all the things it is linked in the eav uh, attribute and uh, this this how the magento works on the eav attribute so they have the different different things like attribute model back end model back end type so they have the different type also you can see that they have a like a end uh, like into where care day time so these are values are stored specific to it right so moving to the next part uh, this we have a different different things so <clears throat> this is the thing that what is eav attributes and how the machento uh, uh, uses this one so in the next coming video we are going to learn about the if you want like uh, how to create a new entity type or something create a magento eav attributes so we will explain the next video but in the next video 
we are going to learn about uh, like uh, how what are the disadvantages advantages we have learned what are the disadvantages how to overcome this so in the coming video we are going to discuss about it okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great day